One of the best wireless mics on the market is the Rode Wireless Go, because not only is it small and portable, but it's also versatile, and you can use it in so many different ways. And in this video, I'm gonna share five hacks on how you can use your Rode Wireless Go other than a lavalier mic, which is what it was intended for. So let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech gear reviews. Other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So at the time of shooting this video, the Rode Wireless Go comes in at around $200. And now they've built a lot of accessories that you can add on to uh, this mic. You can buy a lab for it. Uh, and you can also buy it in the color white. You can also buy a magnet clip for the lavalier itself. And you can also buy a handheld uh, to turn it into a handheld mic, which I'll get into in the rest of this video. But if you haven't already, we made a video on the three ways you can use this mic, whether it be with your smartphone, your laptop or computer, or your camera. And if you wanna check out that video, I'll make sure we put a link to it in the YouTube card and in the description below. But let's get into these hacks that I know will help you so much if you actually own these mics. All right, so the first hack is to actually use the Rode Wireless Go as a boom mic. I have the mic this far away because I actually turned on the gain on the receiver to all the way high and sticking this on the boom using the magnetic accessory shown previously in this video can turn this into an awesome wireless boom solution just like this. So Amanda, I know you're my wife and all, but uh, <laughs> what do you want for Christmas this year? Mm, no mortgage payment. More no mortgage payment, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and ask Santa to see if he can wipe away our mortgage payment. <laughs> the next hack of using the Rode Wireless Go is to use it as a handheld mic. Now, the Rode Wireless Go is intended to be used as a lav, so you would either clip this on a jacket or a shirt um, and be used essentially just to capture one person's audio. Now, what's super cool about putting this as a handheld mic is if you're interviewing somebody or if you're on the floor or out in the streets and you're doing interviews and stuff like that, you can use the Rode Wireless Go in this way. So now, when you thought you bought a lav mic, you also bought a handheld mic. And what's super cool is Rode does sell this handheld mic kind of converter kit. Uh, to turn in your Rode Wireless Go into a handheld mic, and that's around $30 at the time of shooting this video. If you wanna check out anything I'm talking about in this video, by the way, I'll make sure I put links in the description below, but you don't have to use it. By all means, is it just more aesthetically pleasing to see this setup uh, on a nice black piece of plastic, I guess you could say. And they also give you the muff to go over the mic, which will help with some plosives and things like that. But Caleb at DSLR Shooter used as an example just a piece of cardboard, which could be a little, you know, kind of DIY-y, but by all means, if you wanna turn your Rode Wireless Go into a handheld mic, you can clip it on a stick of sorts, uh, maybe a spoon or a straw could be a good idea, and use it as a handheld mic. The third hack is to use the Rode Wireless Go to send audio to a second camera. And the way you do this is only if your camera has a headphone jack would this work. But if you already have a main source of audio going into a camera, out of the headphone jack, you can plug in the lav portion of the Rode Wireless Go, and then the receiver could be on a second camera capturing that audio. Now, I wouldn't consider this an actual way of uh, doubling your audio, because if the first way gets compromised, it would probably mess up the one that's getting transmitted to the second camera. However, it would be nice, because sometimes I find myself in situations where the cameras could be super far from each other, capturing different scratch audio per se, and lining up in post could be a hard time. But if my camera B was getting good audio into that video file, it'd just be much easier breeze in post to either sync or even work off of if I just wanted to use that file. All right, so I have two more hacks that I wanna get through in this video, but before we move on, I wanna pass the question off to you. What mic are you using to create videos? Uh, whether you're doing production or creating your YouTube videos, let me know what mic you have in the comment section below, and do you plan on upgrading your mic solution? Again, let me know in the comment section below, and if you're getting value in this video, smash that like button for me to let me know, and let's get into the next two hacks. Now, I would consider this hack to be one of my personal favorites, and that is simply sending audio from a soundboard or a mixer to a roaming camera. 
Maybe not everybody could share in this frustration, but if you're doing a job or maybe you're filming something that has uh, outside production per se, I guess you could say like there is somebody essentially running a soundboard. Um, usually it could either be a really big room or a very hard situation to get a lav mic clipped onto the speaker, especially if they're already getting mic'd up or they're using a handheld mic or something like that. And you want to get good audio in your video without really making too much of uh, ruckus, or I guess you could say just shoulder tapping everyone. Uh, I love just pulling audio from a soundboard. Simply just finding an extra out on a soundboard or a mixer can make this super simple, just plugging in to your Rode Wireless Go on the lav portion, and then again, the receiver on your camera. And now you can roam and have literally mixed audio into your camera. And I think this is a super cool thing that I was using at church. You know, I, I was filming vertical video, and I didn't want the audio from the room to be captured onto the camera. I wanted the audio that was coming through the board to be captured onto my camera. So it was super cool to have in my video files from my wireless camera roaming around, uh, the audio that's mixed in, even from worship um, or the music portion of church to the, the part where our pastor was speaking, I was getting good audio in my camera. And so you, I love this hack. It's probably my favorite hack out of all five of them, but uh, make sure you try this, whether you're doing like weddings or things like that. Anytime there's a soundboard and you don't feel like bugging the main subject because of the situation or circumstance, this is a great way to get around it. Again, thumbs up, Rode Wireless Go. And the fifth hack is to use this as your computer mic. What's super cool about this is that although you're buying a lav mic, you're also buying the ability to use it as your computer mic. So maybe you wanna level up the audio that's coming from your Zoom calls, Skype calls, or Google Hangouts. Maybe your camera doesn't have a mic jack input, but you're planning on getting a camera one of these days with one and you get the World Wireless Go because you know you use it, then you can record onto your computer or laptop and then just sync your audio in post, which is super cool. Uh, you can also use it for voiceover work, which is dope. We made a video on my office tour, and part of that video I did voiceover, and I used the Rode Wireless Go to conduct that voiceover, and it sounded really good, which is super cool to know that you can buy a piece of gear, and it can be used for multiple different purposes, and that's my favorite thing about the Rode Wireless Go. It's such a versatile mic, and so actually, if you wanna check out that video I mentioned earlier on how you can use this with either your smartphone, your camera, or your laptop or computer, uh, make sure to check out that video. Again, it'll be in the YouTube card and in the description below. And you can click or tap the screen to check that video out. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.